Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at how to use linear approximation. So we have estimate the square root of 103 by linear approximation. Now this theorem here is how it will appear in most textbooks, but to put this theorem in plain English and see how to use it for this problem, if we want to approximate a value along some curve, we could find an equation for a tangent line. And as long as our point is very close to the point of tangency here, then this tangent line here in orange will be an accurate estimation for the real function value. Because notice here the gap between the tangent line and the curve is very small. However, if you pick a point that's far away from the point of tangency, then it's going to generate a bigger gap and there's going to be more error between your approximation and the actual answer. So the key is that we have to pick out an A value that's very close to the one that we care about. So for this problem here, we should let f of x equal square root x and we'll let a equal 100 because the square root of 100 is very close to the square root of 103. The next perfect square would be 121, but that's way too far away compared to 100. So what we need to find then is we're going to find the function value at 100, which gives us square root 100, which is equal to 10. So this tells us the point that we're going to use for our tangent line. So our a value here, remember, that's going to help us find our point of tangency. So this is an important piece that we're going to need for later. Now the next thing we need to know is the slope of our tangent line. So to find our slope, we need to calculate the derivative of f of x. So f prime of x, if we think of this as x to the one half power, is going to equal one half times x to the negative one half, which we could rewrite as one over two radical x. So the next thing we want to find is what is f prime of 100? Remember our a value here is 100. So we're going to plug that into our derivative. So this is 1 over 2 times the square root of 100, which is 2 times 10. So our slope is 1 over 20. So we have 1 over 20 here. So remember, think of L of x, which we refer to as the linearization of f of x, as a tangent line, because that's what it is. So for the next part, we're just writing the equation of a tangent line. We have L of x equals, and we have f prime of a, which represents our slope, which in this case is 1 over 20. So we have 1 over 20 times x minus a, and our a value here is 100. And then we have plus f of a, and our function value we found before is 10. So then if we want to approximate the square root of 103, all we have to do is plug 103 into our equation here. So we're going to have L of 103 equals 1 over 20 times 103 minus 100 plus 10. And when we simplify this, this is going to give us 3 over 20 plus 10, and 3 over 20 will simplify to 0.15. So our value here is equal to 10.15. Okay, just know here you can multiply the top and bottom by 5 if you're doing this without a calculator, which gives you 15 over 100, which simplifies to 0.15. So we have this value here. So then to complete this or write it out formally, remember we are using this idea that the function value at 103 is approximately equal to the value along the tangent line here. So our L of x at 103. And if we look here, f of 103 is equal to the square root of 103. And this is approximately equal to the value we just found on the previous line here, 10.15. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on using linear approximation. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.